Welcome to Spreadsheet Geek. Did you ever end up in a situation where you have a worksheet filled with different text formats? Some people capitalize everything, some people don't capitalize anything, and other people are somewhere in between. In this video, we'll take a look at some very useful Excel functions that will allow you to clean up all those text inconsistencies. This video was made using Microsoft Excel 2019. The first function we'll talk about is the lower function. The lower function takes all of the letters in a designated cell and converts them to lower case. You might want to use the lower function in a situation like this where you have part numbers that have been written in all capital letters. If you were to convert these part numbers into lowercase letters, some of the letters like P's and Q's would extend below the baseline. Capital letters never do that. And some of the letters would extend all the way to the top and others only halfway. So you can convert these into part numbers that are much more readable. How do you do it? It's simple equals lower, designate the cell, close the parent, and you've got your converted part number. I'll autofill that down. Now when people read and copy down these part numbers, they're much less likely to make a mistake because of the lowercase letters. Lowercase letters are generally considered more readable than all uppercase. And the final step, of course, is to copy these cells and paste them over here using the paste as values function so they go back into their original place. I'll leave that step off on the subsequent functions I cover. That final step gets rid of these formulas. The next function is the upper function. It's the exact opposite of the lower function and takes all lowercase letters to uppercase letters and leaves any uppercase letters in uppercase. Maybe you have a requirement to format all of these province names in uppercase. So it works the exact same way. Now you have a list that's all capitalized. The next of what I call the text cleanup functions is probably the most useful of all. Suppose you had a situation like this where you have different people making different entries into cells and some of them are very consistent and they capitalize the first letter of each word. I think that would be fairly appropriate in this situation, but you have others that capitalize everything except one item. Here's somebody who is all lowercase and here's a mix and here's this one's a complete mess because the caps lock seems to be going on and off randomly. The proper function is great for cleaning up situations like this. How does it work? Proper and rather than fill all of these in I'll just autofill it across and then down and in just a couple of seconds you see the entire list is nice and cleaned up and all uniform in format the final situation I'll talk about in this video is a situation like this we have sentences in all lowercase and we just want to capitalize the first word of each phrase. There is no Excel function to do this, but you can use a couple of functions nested to get to where you want to be. How will that work? Well, we'll take it in steps. And the first step we want to do is to capture the first letter and capitalize it. So to do that, I'll use the upper function and I'm going to nest a left function inside that. The left needs to know which text and how many characters. 
And since it's one character, you can actually omit this part, but I'll go ahead and add it. So we've captured the first letter in capital form. So the next part of this function gets a little bit complicated, uh, but not too bad. We're going to throw in an and percent here, and that's kind of a shortcut to uh, using the concatenate function where you can join together multiple things. So the remainder of this sentence we want in all lower case. So I'm going to use the lower function there. And what do we want in lower case? We want everything on the right except that first letter. So in order to capture that, we're going to use the right function. Remember, we always use that when we want to keep what's on the right. And what do we want to keep the right of? A2. So let's click on that cell. And the next argument calls for the number of characters. Well, the number of characters is the total number of characters minus one. So that one would be the first capitalized letter. So we're going to be a little clever here and we're going to use the length function and nest that inside the right function, which is nested inside the lower function. And the length is the length of A2 minus one character. And we'll close that off. And we have accomplished what we wanted to do. Our first letter of our first word in each sentence is capitalized. And everything else remains in lower case. Now it's important to note that in this case, I really didn't have to designate this, this lower case for the right part of each phrase or sentence. But uh, if one of these had been in all capital letters like this one, we would be able to take care of that in this function by having the lower case part of it in there. Now I mentioned that concatenate function could be used in place of the ampersand, and that's kind of a shortcut way of doing it. Just to show how that works, I'm going to paste this nested function down here, and I'm going to show how that would have been done using the concatenate function. We just concatenate both elements and separate them with a comma and of course I need another closing parent on the end. And that would do the exact same thing. It's just a slightly different way of doing it but the same result. I hope you found the content of this video useful and informative and please consider hitting my subscribe button. I'll be releasing one new video a week with Excel tips and information. Thanks for visiting Spreadsheet Geek.